Ever been stumped by the seemingly daunting task of kneading dough for parathas? Well, it's time to put those concerns to rest. Today, we're going to navigate the art of crafting delicious soft wheat parathas without ever having to knead a single ball of dough. Imagine having a cup of wheat flour, two cloves of garlic, a dash of coriander, a pinch of salt, and just the right amount of water on hand. That's all it takes, really. Begin by mixing the wheat flour, grated garlic, and finely chopped coriander in a bowl. Add salt to taste and then gradually introduce water into the mix, stirring it all into a dough-like consistency. Now here's where the magic happens. Melt a spoonful of butter and mix it into the batter. This not only adds a rich, savory flavor, but also helps in creating that perfect golden brown exterior that's synonymous with a well-cooked paratha. Now onto the cooking, heat up a non-stick tawa on a medium flame. Pour the batter onto the tawa, spreading it gently into a round shape. Let it cook undisturbed until it starts to bubble. When one side is cooked to a beautiful golden brown, flip it over to cook the other side. Add a bit more butter if required, and there you have it, a delicious soft wheat paratha without the hassle of kneading dough. It's quick, it's easy, and it's absolutely scrumptious. To summarize, you start by mixing the wheat flour, garlic, coriander, salt, and water into a dough-like consistency. Melt some butter, mix it into the batter, then pour it onto a heated tawa. Cook on both sides until golden brown, and voila! Your wheat paratha is ready to be savored. Remember, cooking should be an enjoyable experience, not a daunting task. So, with this recipe in your culinary arsenal, you'll be whipping up delicious wheat parathas in no time. Bon appétit!